what's going on everybody well uh we're got a little package from amazon and remember when i done the bed cover uh the bed uh the, the rails the truck rails i'll get it right in a minute and uh yetta motors sent it and i said that they had a lot of cool stuff on their on their website so i been wanting a cover to go on this truck because my fuel tank sticks up a little bit uh it's kind of hard to find the, the bed cover so that and i didn't want to pay a lot of money for one right now so i got on their website and checked them out again yet a motors let's see if they're packaging without doing um whatever product review i'm gonna do my own product review they didn't send it to me but i bought it because the bed uh the rails on the truck were made really really good and it looked like they make some good products so let's see what we got everything packaged well that's good all right let me get everything out lay it out and we'll be back all right Again, taking the plastic off. The first thing that I see about this company is they really, you know, far as packaging, their packaging is really good. Uh, I'm, I'm very impressed. I was with the other one and just ordering something by myself off and, and, them, and them not sending me anything because I'm gonna do an honest review on it anyway. Uh, their packaging is good. That's why I went back with this company. You know, there's all kind of companies on there that's got them. And I looked at a bunch of different ones, but for some reason, it was just sending me back to this one because I've already dealt with this company. And I've been, I was impressed on how they package and the, the products that they build. So, let's get started. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna try to make a, a decent video on this, and then I'm actually gonna send this to Yetta Motors because I couldn't find nothing nowhere on on how to do a Dodge. Um, so what we're gonna do first is clean everything. Before you get ready, just go ahead and clean everything. Uh, and then we're gonna take this to Sticky right here on the foam, and we're gonna put it down here, and I'm gonna go all the way down with it. So when I get that done, I'll be back. All right got the foam down so now it comes with a little allen wrench to so get your allen wrench out so what we're fixing to do now all right so what i'm thinking so far is what i'm gonna do is right here see how that uh the nut and bolt just move out and the allen wrench fits in there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it right in here and set it groove then I'm going to go underneath once I get it lined up and I'm going to tighten it up with the Allen wrench. Alrighty. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to try to fit this in here just like that. Can y'all see how I got it in? And then you're going to slide it in and we're going to push it in all the way. And when we do, we're going to tighten it up with an Allen wrench. All right, so we got it in there. Hope I've done it right. And we're going to tighten it up now. All right, I just finished tightening it up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over, line my rail up, and I'm gonna go to the uh, other side exact same way. All right, so we got them two tightened up. And uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna level, level it out to where I want it. And if you notice, <clears throat> this right here is gonna work out just fine. Uh, it sticks above my bed a little bit, so the rails bring it up, so it's going to do exactly what I wanted to do. So I'm glad I went this way. Well, let's level it up and get started. All right, so what I'm going to do now, they give us six clamps. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put one clamp on each side just to hold it down. So that way I'm gonna unroll it just to make sure everything is level, everything's supposed to be. So let's put one clamp on. All right, so what I've done, I, I was trying to do it. One finally got this side down and the other side I could not get down. So what I've realized is these right here move. Take your Allen wrench and uh, we're, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna close it and then put it where it needs to go and then reach in there and tighten them back up. There's two screws right in there. One here and one right there. All right, everybody. Got the rails on. Adjust them over a little bit to make sure that they fit. Got these lined up, got these tightened up. And then here's your brackets. Went ahead and tighten them up. So uh, it should be good to go now. So all I have to do now is, and it does fit, so I'm very happy with that. So just roll her out. Just like so. Then put her in there like that. And she's down. And fits, fits good. Um, but the instructions on it didn't have a whole lot of instructions. Uh, it was a, a little task to try to figure out how. But if you line everything up, and then I was trying to do it without putting the brackets on. So the thing about it is the brackets. I was trying to line everything up and before I, I, I bolt everything down. Go ahead and use these. I put one in the front and one in the back. That way you can line it up and loosen them up a little bit, move them in as you go. So that way when everything lines up just perfect and it's easy to shut down. But I think that's gonna be all for this video. I hope it helps somebody out. Uh, and I don't know, I mean, we're, we're gonna see how long this bed cover lasts. It's not really uh, expensive. I wanted to see how it was gonna work before if I order another one, a better one or whatever later on. I know they have one online on their website that comes down like this. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's got the third bright light. Uh, I may order that for the, the uh, Sandwich Maker's truck 2018 uh, and try to put that on because I'm kind of curious on that. I've seen, you know, it's got the third brake light right here going across, but it's also when you use your blinkers, looks pretty cool. So may get one of them later on to put on the uh, Sandwich Maker's truck and see how how that goes and if it's built better, qual better quality. So far this right here, I don't see nothing wrong with this one. Uh, don't cost a lot of money. It's going to keep everything covered, keep everything from getting wet. Y'all go check it out. I'll link the links down below. Y'all be careful, be safe, and I'll see you on the next one.